Well, hey guys, it's Crazy Airborne here. Just going to do a tutorial showing you how to make an end card for a YouTube video. And if you don't know what an end card is, it's just the clip at the very end of the video that shows links to other videos and it is got the videos playing on the screen and then the cl you click the video and it goes to the link. It's called an end card. This is an example of an end card. And so this is how, this is basically going to be a tutorial on how to make one in Photoshop, but I'm not going to get into a lot of the, the basic stuff. This is assuming you kind of know your way around Photoshop. The first step, um, it's actually a pretty easy thing to do. We're just going to go to New, and I make my videos in 720p, so I'm just going to make a project that is 1280 by 720p, and I have one saved as a custom size and the 1280 by 720 and it is transparent so there we go that's the first step now we will make ours um, the background can be whatever you want it could be an image it could be whatever I'm just gonna do this this is just like I said a really basic way to do this um, we're gonna go with I go with uh, not blurple, a blue, that looks good. Ta-da! The next step for me is, is to open up another new full project and I have it saved in here as well as a 320 by 180. Now that just creates a perfect um, square that is the correct size um, for a, f a video file when it's shrunk down an HD video file. It's the right widescreen 4x3 or 16x10 or whatever it is. So I just highlight it like that. Well, actually, the first thing I do is fill it in with a color, like white, and then I copy it, Control C, and go back to my other project and hit Control V, and Control V again. We're going to put, let's just assume you just want to put two videos in your end card. And we're going to name these just so they're easy to remember. This is BG for background. This will be left box. And this one will be right box. <laughs> right box. So now, you know, you can line them up however you want doesn't really matter right now because you're probably going to move them around. So in the end we'll make these transparent boxes and that's where you'll put a video through and that's where your link will go. And I'm going to do another tutorial on how to actually set it up in Sony Vegas, but this is just the Photoshop version before you get into Vegas to, to actually do it. Let's just say you want it like that and you're going to have, you know, your your title or whatever you want on this screen. Let's just put a um we'll act like this is going to be mine. Well, actually, I don't usually put my name on the end card, so let's just move. Oh, I don't know what the heck's going on here. Let's just do this. We'll say this is a. Uh, my channel. And, you know, you can use any font you want. You can use, you know, different colors, etc. This is just, like I said, going to be just to give you guys a how-to. And this is going to be Battlefield 3 series. So these, you know, these are simple links that people are able to click to go straight to your other videos. And how you keep, you know, this is how you're going to keep people watching your videos rather than going off and looking at someone else's video. My channel will be a three series and we'll definitely, you know, throw a subscribe button on here. So I'm just gonna file open. Well actually I'll show you how to make a little button really easy. Just go to a rounded rectangular tool. We'll put one right here. Oh that's kind of cool I guess. I don't know. I don't really want that. There we go. And I'm gonna put some more text on top of it. The text is actually going to be blue this time. 
Oops. I don't know what's going there. Text and name this. Uh, s text is supposed to be blue. Okay. Sub. Scribe. And then, you know, to make it look like a button, we can put a. Uh, some blending options on it. Drop shadow. Nope, not on that. On this. Blending options. Drop shadow. There now it looks like a button already. Got like an outer glow. Make the drop shadow a little bit darker. A little bit bigger. Whatever, you know, this is this is for you to mess with. I'm gonna also link these two together. Um how do I do that? Link layers. So now when I move one, whoa, <laughs> whoops, edit undo, edit step backwards. Don't link those two together. We need this and this. Whoops. So I'm just, um, you know, I clicked that one, held control and click that one, and then I'm going to link layers. So now they are together. There's your button. That was really easy. And then you don't have to copy, you know, someone else's off the internet or whatever. So we're going to have a subscribe here, wherever, ta-da, and what else would we put on there? Maybe, you know, follow me on Twitter, look me up on Facebook, you could add, you know, a Twitter symbol or whatever, open, libraries, documents, images, Twitter icon. What's that one look like? Of course it won't show it to me. Hmm, it's a big old Twitter. Alright, so I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm going to paste it in. <laughs> and it is huge, which is awesome. Control T, make it small. Actually wait. Undo that. Shift, make it small so it holds its uh size correctly and drag it up shift make it small whoa not what I meant to do cool and uh, you know whatever make give that some blending options so it doesn't look so crazy oh not entering shadow drop shadow no distance like this like this make it stand out a little bit you know, that looks cool. And, you know, again, this is all just personal preference. Oops, not blue, white. Thank you. Follow me. All right. So you get yours all set up how you want it now. What I like to do is merge the left box, right box, all together. Merge layers. So now they're all merged. And you know, you'd only do that once you have them in the right place. And then I just take the, uh, what is that, the magic wand tool and select the white and hit delete. Select the white and hit delete. And there you go. You now can save it as a PNG file. Save as. PNG and you have an end card end card and go to my second video to watch how to actually implement this into your video